All right, so I want to show you a neat little, uh, while I got the car on here, a uh, neat little device. So, so um, the one, one of the reasons the Eclipse failed, uh, failed uh, emissions is uh, it didn't pass, the, the readiness monitors weren't ready. The monitors weren't ready, basically. It's, I, I said that wrong. But uh, So I bought this uh, little gizmo here. It's called a OBD Link LX. So basically what it is, is a little dongle that you plug into your OBD port. See, that's the OBD2 port right there. And uh, and it links up to your computer, and then uh, it, it's a wireless interface that uses Bluetooth. So you can use this with a laptop that has Bluetooth, or your phone. So you can actually uh, do your onboard diagnostics with your phone. So I, I'm fucking, I'm, I'm freaking, am <laughs> freaking amazed how uh, this is a, this is the the future, man, the future. And this future has been around for a while, and I've just been getting caught up. I do have a scan gauge too. Um, this is a great little, uh, it's a great little gauge thing that tell, can tell you stuff. You can set gauges and stuff, but it doesn't tell you if your readiness monitors are ready. So. And even an Evo scan on the laptop didn't do it. So um, I, ca I can tell you this: the um, the old pocket logger, the um, what people used to use for tuning, the little uh, what was it? Oh, oh, they used the Palm Pilot and the pocket logger software. Um, that would actually tell you if your monitors were were ready and set. So uh, so here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in here. Okay, it's plugged in. Now all I have to do is go my phone link here. that comes with it. So yes, yes, it's only for OBD link devices. I'll hit connect. And it's already paired, so it should it should be connecting. There it is. It's connected. So let's go to diagnostics. Trouble codes. No trouble codes detected. That is good. That means I installed the the EGR fine. <laughs> uh, so yeah. And then monitors. That's the one I'm looking for. So there it is. So ready. So I, I played with it last night. So this tells you readiness standard none. This or this vehicle is not ready for emissions testing. So there you go. That's it. That's your that. It's worth every penny just because I can find that out. So, so there it is. So that so it says the mill is off. So that means there's no check engine light and. There, there is no check engine light. There's no code, so the car should be running good. Um, so these are all the different monitors of the car. Um, so you can see misfire. So um, this can do a misfire test, uh, fuel system test complete, components test, catalyst not complete. Oh my! So I have to wait for that to say it's fine. Heated cat heated catalyst. <laughs> It says it's not available, but it completed the test. I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that this left row, if you have this test available, um, you should be able to complete the test on this side. But, but it's that's kind of counterintuitive. Uh, so the EVAP system has not finished testing. Uh, AC refrigerant is uh, not available. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't know, I'm not really a... Uh... And then oxygen sensor, not complete. Oxygen sensor heater, not complete. EGR system, not complete. So that may very well be why I'm failing the EGR, um, the, the NOx portion of the test. So uh, I just have to, basically I have to drive the car until all these, uh, these uh, monitors are set and complete. Uh, and then, um, so I can refresh here. So basically I have to drive until these say check 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 and it says this vehicle is ready for emissions testing. So uh, so there you go. I got this uh, this little dongle device for about uh, 50 bucks. Yeah, 50 bucks on Amazon and uh, and then I downloaded the app for free. They give you uh, they give you this app for free. Uh, you can do more stuff with it too. I think you can see there's a little dashboard here. The car is on right now, so see so I'm about 800 RPM, uh, the MAF is flowing 0.50 pound minute. There's a fuel rate, what? A gallon per hour, that's pretty awesome. 
I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have to play with this while I'm in boost. <laughs> Engine temperature, miles per hour, battery, and I imagine uh, you could probably do other stuff with it too. It's pretty accurate. Let's see. This is my battery. That's my voltage on the turbo timer. Uh, so I don't know. It seems like the ECU is seeing a little little bit more voltage than the than the turbo timer. It depends on where it's connected to, you know. So this is this is a rad. Uh, little device and it even has like a, a map tracking feature um, yeah but uh, it doesn't seem to be working right now I think there should be a map here and it can actually like I guess it'll like it'll might log your stuff and then uh, it'll log your where you're going and like how fast you're going so then it'd be cool if you're going to like a racetrack or something um, there's a lot of stuff you can do with this, so I'm I'm stoked about it. Uh, no more no more cables, no more cables everywhere. Oh my god, look at all those cables and shit. <laughs> um, but I do have the scan gauge, so I, that's the one I use. But I can use this for any car that has OBD2, so I'm very happy with it. Um, Fifty dollars, fifty dollars well spent. Like all this, uh, all these uh, expensive tuning gadgets, open port 2.0. Uh, scan gauge 2, Evo scan, nothing, nothing could check the monitors on this car except for this this app and dongle, OBD link, very nice. You can actually use it with the torque app, oh, torque light. I turn the car off, try so. that out, let's try that. So this is another app, so this will actually tell you your acceleration, boost. Boost acceleration. I don't know. You got, I have to set all the, the pages. This has different pages. So there we go. So it's actually connecting. There we go. See? So this one uh, can check readiness monitors too. So uh, misfire, complete, type system, spark, catalyst incomplete, EVAP incomplete, um, O2 sensor incomplete. So uh, like about only half the tests are complete. So I really have to drive this car more. Um, the smog shop sold me like drive it like a hundred more miles or something and then it should be good past everything else so. there you go that's my little uh, that's my little vlog about uh, the OBD link uh, dongle that I have connected down there you see um, I'm probably gonna leave that on there until I'm done with this emissions testing thing and then I'll probably just keep it somewhere like I said I can use it for other OBD2 vehicles to check problems and I don't have to worry about connecting a laptop and a cable I just take my phone it's this is so much more convenient I'm telling you awesome all right Hades I'm gonna go welcome to the future OBD link right I don't know how long it's been around but uh, I finally I finally caught up with the future of uh, <laughs> Onboard diagnostic technology. Hades and McGowan.